What's up guys, welcome to another video from Wacky Engineering and in today's video we are going to be building a bicycle powered generator to generate some free electricity. <laughs> Alrighty, so the game plan on today's project uh, basically is going to be, we're going to be putting together a wooden base um, to sort of suspend the back end of the bicycle. And then we're going to be using uh, some of the square tubing uh, and some of the strap steel uh, to assemble a, uh, a metal triangular base that will aid in suspending the back end of this bicycle up in the air. And then uh, once we get all that put together, uh, it's going to be some cutting and, and welding and grinding. Uh, then we'll mount this GM alternator on there. And uh, then we'll be able to run a belt around the back wheel of this bad boy and hopefully make some electricity with it. So the reason we chose this bicycle uh, in this application, well, first and foremost, it was free. Thanks, Dad. Uh, secondly, we kind of wanted to have a... A mountain bike that had different gears that way uh, once we get this thing up and running we can shift gears and kind of get the alternator at the right rpm that it needs to be depending on the load all right so the first thing we need to do is assemble this base Unless you can line up the alternator. That'll be pretty good. That, and then just move the bike to be centered with wherever it needs to be. This will be good. Yeah. I like this. All right. All right, now that the base is completed, now we can start with some of the metal fabrication. Remember guys, if you're not very good at welding, you better be good at grinding.
All right, now that we got these brackets mounted on here, we got the alternator mounted up, we have it roughly tensioned. Um, now we can start the wiring process. Okay, so we got this thing wired up. So we hooked this battery up. Uh, the battery, it needs 12 volts to excite the alternator. And then uh, it'll also keep the alternator from getting overloaded immediately when you turn power on. So kind of the inrush current that would be drawn on this alternator, this battery acts as a buffer. And we'll actually quit pedaling and we'll see how long it'll run on the battery. It probably won't run that long on just the battery. So then we'll have to start pedaling again. Uh, and this wire here is what we're gonna use to excite it. Uh, normally you'd have like a key switch and this would run through a light on the like factory vehicle, but we'll just touch it to excite it once we're pedaling and then that'll get the alternator to start charging. So this is the voltage of just the battery before we start pedaling and excite the alternator. All right, you ready, Andy? Yep. And there's the voltage, now it's charging. You can pedal a little slower. Okay, let's kick this on. Yep, just keep pedaling like that. Oh, there we go. Once this starts beeping, I'll have to get back on. That's how quickly this load is drawing down this battery. Oh. Let's try to get it dropping again. Let's see. I mean, you're going to have to re-excite it again. I want to see. Okay. Well, let's let this thing at least boot. Please, is that forever. hard? All right, stop. Yep, there it goes. Wait, how long is this thing to boot? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can do my workout. Well, you're going to have to go a little faster. <laughs> There we go. Now you're at 12 volts. Okay, don't oh break God. it. What? Hey, Max, jump on, Max. Jump on. <laughs> Somebody's got to excite it. Ah, oh, we lost excite, it. Excite, excite. So, we wanted to put this thing together to make some free electricity, maybe be able to play some video games off grid, maybe the, the power went out, something like that. I'd say it was a success, uh, although the Xbox was maybe pushing it. Uh, but the Super Nintendo, if you want to kick it old school, the, the Super Nintendo worked, and I think that was feasible to play for a while. Um, definitely get yourself in shape. The Xbox, I think you'd have to be probably Neil Armstrong or whatever his name is to get that bad boy to work. But, hey, I'd say overall, though, it was a success. It definitely works. Um, if we were just wanting to, like, charge a cell phone or something like that, uh, there would be no problem. Um, any bigger loads, like... Over 100 watts was, was definitely pushing it for what we could, we could handle. So that pretty much sums up today's video for this bicycle powered generator. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, you want to see us power something else, then be sure to leave a comment down below and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when we post more videos like this. See ya.